the Legend Award. It's the most prestigious award a rider can get in our sport. And the list of recipients is a who's who of the most influential and impactful riders in the game. Uh, originally, this list was capped at 10 when they established the award and figured out who the first 10 legends were. Then they pressed pause on it and waited for sort of the next generation to kind of wrap things up and then start inducting more. And a few years ago, we added Randall Harris. Then we added Danny Harp last year. And next year, we've got a really, really special recipient for the Legend Award. That's right, Garrett. This rider has done it all over a 20-year career that includes countless titles, uh, records, uh, mainstream media coverage, unlike any other professional wakeboarder ever. And there's a whole lot more. I could start listing off the credentials, but that'd probably take uh, another 10, 15, 20, or 30 minutes of our time. But best of all, this rider is the first ever female to win this coveted award. So let's check it out, baby. Well, it may look like a red carpet behind us, but really it's a wakeboarder's paradise. Dallas Friday, welcome to the ESPY. Oh, thank you. I'm very excited to be here. Um, never thought I would be doing this, and I hope like more people will get to know what wakeboarding is. Dallas Friday. Yay! It's Dallas's turn to wake up the world. Yeah, Dallas is unreal. Dallas Friday does it. She gets the hat trick. It's three gold medals at the X Games. I'm glad she's still just riding against the girls instead of the rest of us. Dallas Friday's aggressive run is enough to secure her the national championship. A female action sports athlete, Dallas Friday. Throws a Tootsie Roll in the finals. Now in her fourth professional season, Dallas Friday has taken women's wakeboarding by storm, pushing the envelope and going where other women have never taken their riding before. <laughs> Dallas first women's rider in the Legends Club. You deserve it. Probably the most winningest women's rider in history. Uh, you've won an SP. You've wake put an ESPN magazine naked. But on top of all that, you're one of the most resilient riders out there. You've had the craziest knee injuries. You've broke your femur in Singapore. And every time you get exactly back where you are, charging harder as you ever did. You have two kids nowadays and you love wakeboarding and go as big as ever. So congrats, Dallas. You clearly deserve this. Legends Club, ladies and gentlemen. Dallas Friday. Dallas Friday, congratulations. You are a legend in the sport and it's honestly well-earned. You've been riding for a long time. You uh, have ridden a lot of contests. I've ridden side by side with you as a Fox team rider and 
you've definitely pushed the sport to new heights. And so it's something, it, it was always cool just being at a contest and watching people run to the shoreline when it was your turn to ride because when you started hitting the wake, going big, getting tech, definitely bringing that riding to another level. So nice work on that. And of course, you've got so many titles and medals under your belt. Um, but one of the coolest stories um, that I was able to witness is when we were at the Dallas airport and you were eating at a restaurant um, and it was on the way to a contest and that restaurant was Friday's. And so it was pretty cool because um, I got to eat at Friday's in Dallas with Dallas Friday. Not many people can say that. Uh, you'd have to go to a certain location with a certain person in Dallas that was you. So thank you for that story, getting to eat at Friday's in Dallas with Dallas Friday on a Friday. Congrats. Kobe Mikasich here on Lake Holden in Orlando, Florida. I've had the pleasure of living on this lake for the last 20 years off and on. And this is the same lake that Dallas Friday grew up on. And so I've had the pleasure to watch her ride right out of my backyard. And also we're on a couple teams with her with O'Brien and Malibu. And I've really seen Dallas's career just be amazing. The fact of, you know, coming back from heavy injuries always impressed me with Dallas. So she's always charged it and um, just been an amazing athlete. And uh, this is an awesome honor and uh, congratulations. And she has no idea, but there she is. You know, after sitting and watching the video of um, the Legend Award and kind of my career, uh, it, it's just really cool to see and just see it unfold. And wow, I can't believe it's been over 20 years that I've been competing and riding and I'm still competing and riding. But honestly, I just love it. But seeing Parks, you know, um, present this award and put in his two cents of words on me, you know, it's, it's funny because I always looked up to him and Murray and Danny Harf, like those were my boys. And, you know, we were on the Fox team together, Ronix team together and go do photo shoots. And I really appreciate the, um, the compliments and, um, you know, just tell me it's well-deserved because that means a lot coming from you and very cool. And, definitely hit me here. So I want to thank my parents. They've been so supportive and always pushed me to pursue my dreams and to be the best that I can be and to make good choices and to be a good person on and off the water and um, just always guided me to um, doing the right thing and um, gave me so many opportunities and, and believed in me. So thanks mom and dad. I want to thank my brothers for they were the ones that first took me out on the water and out on the lake and I fell in love with the sport. And, uh, you know, without you two, I never really would have been inspired to go wakeboarding. So thanks Robin, thanks Chad. Um, and along with thanking my parents, you know, uh, far most I want to thank God and uh, a big part he's been in my life and um, me being successful and, um, I just want to give him all the glory because without him, I wouldn't be where I'm at today because it's not about me. It's about him. And, um, you know, he's been my number one supporter since day one. And, you know, despite the fallbacks and injuries and, you know, setbacks and just the ups and downs on the road, um, you know, he's always been there for me. And I just want to thank him. And, you know, I do this not for me, but for him and for the greater good wakeboarding can be used for so much good and I hope that my career and who I am uh, has a, a good impact on uh, people wanting to get involved in wakeboarding. I just want to thank all my sponsors that have supported me and uh, believed in me and uh, been there for me. Uh, Ronix, Centurion Boats, Paul Singer, Amy Mozzie, you guys are amazing. You guys signed me at Malibu a long time ago and you know, 20 years later, who would have thought, you know, you're running Centurion and um, gave me this opportunity to continue doing what I love. And um, you guys are amazing. And uh, I also want to thank um, Justin, Own Two Hands, uh, for just keeping me healthy and making it possible for me to 
continue my riding on the water and uh, Bill Porter at Performance Cancer. You know, he met me when I was 12 years old and you know, my mom took me in a performance, you know, asking around about finding me a coach and uh, said, you gotta take her to see Mike Ferraro. And you know, that's just where it all started. So thank you, Bill. Thank you for always being so good to my family and, and to me. And um, you know, it's, it's been amazing to just be a part of you and your shop and everyone there and